The twenty-year-old me was fierce. <sighs> that pain feels real. You came here sooner than I expected, Kala Puna. I knew you would come. Kamar. Finally, see you again. I miss you dearly too, my child. I hope you've been doing well while I was away. Hope you're happy with the surroundings I set. I always find it enjoyable here. A place full of memories. <laughs> and perfect for small talks. <laughs> I'd rather you suffered, miss. Ah, someone is having a worse attitude these days. There's no need to look around, kid. I already had a few years of experience in the field before you started your research. And one of the most basic skills one has to master in the meditator's realm is to cover up the traces of reality. Even so, you didn't even think about creating a starry sky for yourself here. Hmm, that would be unnecessary. You can see it any time outside this realm, if you like. Why did you invite me here? I know you've put in a lot of efforts. I understand the difficulty within. And sympathize with you, Kalapuna. I always do. Just like what I did with my younger brother. By the way, that letter has been delivered to him safely, I assume? You're smart enough not to bring the Vishnu statue with you. Did somebody kindly remind you not to do that? Never mind, that's not helpful. I don't understand. Why involve him? Hmm. Maybe I was being vindictive out of hatred, like you said. After all, they precluded me from doing anything even before I give it a try. Although my misfortune was not my brother's doing, there's no one else left in the family to take my anger. So ask me now. Ask me anything you wish to know. I can tell you everything. What you're curious about, what you're confused about, anything you can't work out in your little brain, I can explain it all. Hasn't the idea that I might locate you bothered you for even a second? Locate me? Ah, <laughs> you are still as naive as a child, my Kalabauna. You little dummy Ulu. That is simply impossible. This is the first time you doubt my capability. No, why would I do that? Of all the students, you are the only child who is smart enough to follow my steps this far. You just don't have time on your side and need a better mindset in dealing with the unexpected. I've tried to teach it to you. Remember those impromptu speeches I asked you to give? Those were good practice. Don't have... What do you mean? Perhaps you have put too much stock in the idea that I will rely on Manus Vindicte in this. Instead, I trust myself 
more than them. And of course, I also trust you. What's more, they were never good enough for me. But luckily, I have never been a real arcanist or a real human, only pretending to be either of them when necessary. I can easily act like an arcanist to gain their trust, just like I could act like a human when I was teaching at Venner. What are you staring at? Take it if you're interested. What? You thought it is the key to cracking the meditator's realm, like the stone statues earlier? Though it is too late for hints, there is one thing I have to remind you of. You didn't catch up to the real me, nor did you improve the situation by entering the realm. You chased me all the way here. Chased the hope of winning against me. But you only helped me complete my plan. The moment you entered the realm, the last step of my plan was done. <laughs> I completed... what? As you know, exerting influence on reality through the meditator's realm is challenging. After all, this realm is like the shadow of its real counterpart, a reflection of reality. I went to a lot of trouble, even wasted a statue, to finally stick out a corner of the shadow over the boundary of the two worlds. You mean the statue in the cave? Yes. What I needed was an outside in force to break the realm, which is almost unbreakable from the inside. A mirror can reflect objects, but there's nothing it could do to itself. It can only be shattered into pieces by people not from the reflection, but reality. Whenever there is a shooting star streaking across the sky of this realm, an equally beautiful star will fall on the real Earth. And guess what? You are the force I'm looking for. No. How? So the fluctuation I detected, the energy of the celestial body felt by the Foundation Girl, are just false alert? Oh no, I have to admit, that young girl was not part of my plan. But, at least you are on the right track about what happened. If anything is to blame, it's your ego. You were trying to win, but not by saving people. The idea of proving yourself to me outweighed their lives. You must be wondering. How could she lay such a trap with her insignificant arcane power? She can barely lift a lump of clay. She must have had the Manus Vindicte on her side to help. All that being said, you don't have to fuel yourself to be a lesser version of me. You're still my best student, my best colleague, and my strongest rival. Well, with some room to improve. Even this time, you didn't lose the game for lack of wits, but for the fact that I know you a bit better than you know me. And I simply have more experience hunting a prey. You and the Manis have never, never thought that. That means, if I didn't enter the realm to see you, 
then things are going to be tricky for me. You would be enjoying a happy Deepa festival, while I would be crying in a dark corner nobody knows of. Why? Why would you? Well, time's up. Remember to ask the most important question first next time, chap. Don't thank me for that suggestion, and don't think too much of my kindness. I didn't explain all these things for your sake. I told you everything because only by doing so can I enjoy the victory to its fullest. Your desperation is a good prize for me. You know I have a bad taste for entertainment. Go back to the Deepa Festival. At least there's one good thing left for you. You will get to see that beautiful shooting star with your own eyes, just like I will. Alfida. <laughs>